Miss Kendrick, uh, I am hearing that somebody went in the studio after they heard this album. Mm hmm. Hmm. I wonder who that would be. I'm hearing it that. Say it. Somebody, I'm hearing that somebody picked up the phone, tried tried to call and see what the energy was. I'm hearing that Kendrick didn't answer. Well, he told us in his letter, I go without a phone for months anyway. Don't call my phone. Yeah, but if I'm calling you rapper to rapper mm -mm. and you don't answer, mm -hmm. it's like what Mark told fucking Flip when they had their shit. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm, I'm going in the booth. You have until I get in that booth to, to, hit, me to hit me back. I don't want to hit if you, you back. Don't. Go in the booth. Go in the booth. Let's stay there for a second. Are we talking about Wayne? Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm hearing that Wayne went in the booth. Who? Oh, mm. Lord. Love Wayne. Love. Somebody. Uh, all right, hold on. With her pa feelings? Pause. Pause. I, I, I've, been, I've been hearing. So what Joe Budden's saying is that Lil Wayne heard Kendrick Lamar's whacked out Merrill's and, you know, tried to give him a call and Kendrick wasn't answering the phone. So Lil Wayne was like, you know, fuck it. I'm gonna just go in the booth. So with that being said, Lil Wayne, as a longtime fan, please, I mean, please don't respond back to Kendrick Lamar on the track. I'm talking, I understand Lil Wayne, uh, the Drought series, Dedication, the Suffix, the Squad Up mixtapes, Sorry for the Wait, the Carters, you know, Dedication one through six. Now, one thing Wayne could do is just get on the whacked out Merle instrumental and just go crazy, just drop a hundred bars on the whole song. And you know, I guess, you know, that I'd be cool with that, but please don't try to go at Kendrick direct and like say some disrespectful shit about Kendrick. Cause I don't think Lil Wayne's battle tested enough. Remember when Lil Wayne put out ghoulish with, uh, against Pusha T and he says, fuck Pusha T and anybody that love him. His head up his ass, I'm gonna have to head butt him. And it's like, yo, if you're coming with bars like that, yo, like, nah, that ain't gonna cut it. That ain't it. Like, Kendrick's going to hurt, you know, he's coming for blood. You, you can't play with him. You can't waste no bars. But that's just my opinion. You know, I could totally be wrong. We don't really know because we ain't never really seen Wayne battle test it. You know, anytime somebody dissed Wayne, he always took the high road. And, you know, maybe Birdman told him not to respond as well. But we never heard a full-fledged diss track besides Ghoulish. And that shit was trash. And you know, I'm one of the biggest of Wayne fans. And you know, I got Wayne in my top five. I just think that Kendrick's in his prime right now. And Lil Wayne's in the space of his career where I just don't want to see that. Like we all know Wayne's one of the greatest, if not the greatest. And I don't want to see him like Jordan when he got on the Wizards. Cause growing up, the only memory I have of Jordan is when he was on the Washington Wizards, not the Chicago Bulls. 